okay welcome again everybody to this series of videos uh, uh, in which we are trying to uh, discuss the uh, ways of expressing the x-ray dosage uh, and uh, what are the doses, the maximum permissible doses, the acceptable doses, the effective doses and these things so that we will open the door afterwards to the biological effects of radiation. <coughs> Uh, basically, we must understand that uh, uh, radiation, ionizing radiation, that is the radiation which is capable of uh, splitting uh, uh, or ionizing stable atoms, uh, comes from different sources. 14% uh, uh, of the radiation sources to which humans are exposed are from uh, medical uh, sources and around uh, one to two percent of the medical is the dental so our share and the radiation exposure is uh, limited however it is uh, uh, considering that huge number of dental radiographs that are made uh, it, add, it will at the end uh, form a substantial value so, to understand the limits, we will go uh, and in this session, uh, trying, we will try to explain the dose limit of the public, I mean the, for the public part for the general uh, persons whether they, who are not working in the dental field or in the medical uh, field. Uh, the average annual radiation dose to which people are exposed as around 2.6 millisievert per year millisievert per year this is the general annual amount of radiation to which we are exposed however uh, of course this is not this is an average P this uh, th this number might might go up depending on where we live how high uh, that is the altitude we live and what do we do whether we travel a lot, whether we work in areas or live in areas, there was there is a, a large amounts of natural background radiation. In in, in average, uh, the number is uh, uh, calculated to be 2.6 uh, millisievert uh, per year. The National Council of on Radiation Protection and International Council of Radiation Protection recommend not to exceed the dose limit for the general public to one millisievert per year. So efforts are being taken to reduce the number from an annual average 2.6 to a maximum of one millisievert per year. When it comes to doses to people who are working in the medical field, in diagnostic field, in the medical radiological field, let me just put it more uh, precise, the maximum permissible effective doses, remember, those are measured in sieverts for persons working in the x-ray departments. Dentists are involved in this because they do their exposures by themselves, so they are exposed to radiation. You, you, we, I mean dentists, are exposed to an average five, over five years consecutive years, we are allowed as a maximum of 20 millisievert per year. 20 millisievert per year, okay? This is averaged on five years. This means that the maximum we can get which is considered within the normal limit is 0.4 to 0.8 millisievert sievert per month. 20 millisievert per year. If you divide it by 12, then you are the range between 0.4 to 0.8 millisievert per month. This is over five years. However, if in any year of those five years, you get a 50 millisievert per year, 50 millisievert per year in a single year, okay, then you have to stop. 
collectively 20 millisievert average 20 20 20 20 20 okay over five years in any of those single years you get a 50 millisievert that is a very high dose then you should stop you have exceeded your limit okay uh, actually what the results show that we are getting that more than 0.2 millisievert that is uh, 0.4 of the total dose so we are still safe we are still safe but we should take all efforts to reduce the amount of radiation that our patients are exposed to because this is how we get back the exposure so 20 per over five years if in a single year you get you get 50 then you have to stop for those who are non-occupationally exposed persons that is the secretariat secretarial staff admin staff in a clinic or in a hospital or uh, cleaners let's say those who are not involved in the dental practice though are those are but however they however they work in the dental field uh, they are expo they are allowed to get 10 millisievert per year 10 millisievert annual dose if a pregnant woman who is of uh, who works in the dental field pregnant woman who works in the dental field okay then she like a dentist a, a, a female dentist or a pregnant one uh, who gets pregnant sorry or a, a, a nurse uh, or a, a dental hygienist she is pregnant then her maximum dose should be the same as that for those people who are non-occupationally exposed that is 10 millisievert per year so she, when, once there is exposure should stay away this is we will discuss it later on what we need to know now is that uh, uh, public people who are not exposed they get uh, who don't work in the dental field the maximum dose uh, uh, the the uh, sorry the annual dose they are getting is 2.6 millisievert. However, efforts are being taken to reduce this. When you are a dentist or in the medical field, you are allowed to a maximum of 20 millisievert per year over five consecutive years. Uh, once you get 50, stop. How do we measure this? We will talk about uh, this because we have we have to have uh, the uh, measuring equipment uh, and gadgets so that it tells us how much we are exposed to radiation, whether we are within the limits or we have exceeded the limits. There is one point. At least uh, you know when it comes to numbers. Okay, what is 20 sieverts? What is 20 millisieverts? What is these things? It's a bit difficult to explain to either to ourselves, though we know how these uh, numbers have come from from the previous lectures. Uh, but uh, how would we uh, 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 make this clear to our patients or people who are not aware or they don't have an idea about the sieverts and the greys and the uh, rontgens and this thing? To to make it very clear and simple. We have to know that daily, I'll go back to the previous slide, we said as, 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 as a, a, annual doses that we are getting, hmm, 2.6 millisievert per year. If you divide this by over the year, days of the year, huh, then you, the average daily dose that people get, whether they work, in a dental field, whether they don't, whether they live in a high altitude, whether they, li they live by the sea level, as an average, they get around seven to eight micro sieverts per day. People get around seven to eight micro sieverts, micro sieverts of ionizing radiation collective. There is, yeah, <coughs> sorry, from the ground, from the fallout, from this, from the uh, uh, cosmic rays, collectively we'll get around seven to eight microsieverts. Seven to eight microsieverts is equal to one digital radiograph in terms of exposure. So, if you take one digital X-ray radiograph 
whether it is a phosphor plate or a, a cable type that is the uh, CMOS uh, uh, sensor or you use a speed F or E film then the dose, the amount of dose you're getting is equal to one day of uh, exposure that is around seven to eight microsieverts. This is a this is a, uh, a simple way to uh, to to you know uh, to compare between how much we get and uh, f from from natural background radiation and the uh, added uh, or the man-made radiation. This table <coughs> will show the ionizing radiation dosages approximately. Of course, there is nothing. Uh, 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 clear cut it's all average okay because it depends how old are you uh, where you live uh, uh, the uh, uh, linear energy transfer of the uh, uh, of the um, of the radiation uh, your medical condition whether you have taken previous x-rays or, or not uh, so many factors uh, uh, get in, in involved in this, but again, uh, w w that's why we say average. The average is uh, uh, <coughs> uh, one microsievert per day. So, if you have one day background radiation at the sea level, if you are at the sea level, okay, one day you will receive an effective dose around 7 to 8 microsieverts which is equal in dose uh, uh, in days if it's by days as calculated by days one day of uh, background radiation okay 7 to 8 microsieverts is equal to one day of background radiation one digital periapical radiograph is 6 to 7 depends on the type on the dose how much time, uh, the setting of the timer, the setting of the KVP, 60 or 70, milliampereage, <coughs> whether you, you're exposing a child or, or you ha then you will reduce the exposure. Well, plus minus, one digital radiograph is equal to one day of background exposure because you're going to get around similar amount, that's eight microsieverts. Four dental bite wing radiographs, whether it is a PSP or a FSP film, F speed film, then you're going to get around 38 microsieverts, which is uh, which is equal plus minus to five days of exposure, five days of background exposure. 17 full mouth X-ray films is equal. The, the, the effective dose in, micro, uh, in microsieverts is 171. It is equal to 21 days of exposure. Now let's get bigger. Combeam CT, Serona, for instance. Serona, you'll get, depends on again the, uh, 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 the protocol of exposure, whether you're going to use uh, like maxilla. Or mandible or a full skull. So these these are this what 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 we call the exposure protocols. Uh, uh, you're going to receive around 70 uh, microsievert, which is around more than one week of uh, uh, background radiation. ICAT, another machine, the dose is slightly higher because they are using another type of. Uh, uh, of of uh, of uh, image sensor, so it needs m a bit more of higher uh, uh, intensity radiation. So the doses around 77 microsievert. Again, we're talking in uh, around 10 days of background around exposure. Now, patients might ask might ask you, okay, I'm I'm doing a CBCT uh, like uh, with a Serona machine, uh, 70 uh, microsieverts is equal to around five panoramic OPGs done at the same time. So if you expose your patient to a CBCT, the dose, which will be around 10 days of exposure in the background, background exposure, this is equal to five, one, two, three, four, five, at the same time done OPGs in terms of radiation exposure. 
this is why we should consider okay w do I need the x-ray really am I going to expose my patient D does the patient really need this or not uh, ICAT is around 5.5 uh, days of uh, uh, exposure <coughs> Uh, Kodak, uh, the dose is higher uh, because because the image uh, image quality is, is is better, reduced image noise. The Kodak focused field, so small field like a maxillary posterior teeth, the dose is 9.8 microsieverts, which is equal to around 1.5 days of background exposure. Uh, if you're going to do a whole mandibular uh, jaw in a Kodak, then the dose jumps up to 38.3, which is around equal to around six days of exposure, as if you are out there in the open for six days. The amount of dose you get from natural background radiation is equal to this. Uh, CPCT, the 3D uh, acritoma, uh, acritomo of uh, J. Morita, uh, uh, doses again this is not fixed but again I'm talking about different variables uh, the dose is 20 micro uh, microsieverts which is equal to uh, three days of background exposure uh, another machine Newton for example uh, the effective dose is 68 and which is equal to around one week or eight days of exposure Chest X-ray, for instance, uh, chest the, uh, 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 is around 170 microsieverts, which is equal to 25 days of background exposure. Mammogram is a high dose. It's around 700 microsieverts. So, in terms of background exposure, it is equal to around uh, three months of uh, uh, background 106 days medical CT not the comb beam CT the medical CT the fan shaped CT is a high dose it's around 2000 microsieverts and this is equal to 243 days of background exposure if you go for a medical CAT scan spiral CT, it's around 10,000 microsieverts, and this is equal to around 1,500 1, days of background exposure. Uh, but as we said, the, uh, f uh, the federal occupation safety year limit per year is around 50,000 uh, microsieverts, that's 50 millisieverts, which is equal to around 7,000 days of background exposure. So, our reference is the daily exposure. We are getting around 7 to 8 microsieverts per day. This is equal to one digital radiograph. You can build, build on this. 